everyone. I'm back again. <laughs> I hope you're all really well. Please tell me where you're tuning in from because we love to know how far and wide these shows go. <laughs> Um, give me some hearts um, if you can hear me okay and you can see me okay. I just saw a few hearts come in now, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, this is um, a really nice show because I'm going to actually be demoing some of the products for you, which I'm super excited about because it's one of my favourite routines to do at the moment, particularly as we come into winter. So it's all about brightening the skin and I'm going to show you like a little at-home facial that you can do, give yourself some TLC um, and yeah. And whilst I've actually got the mask on, you can ask me questions as well. So send your questions through. As always, we've got the lovely Katya, who is in the wings waiting um, to answer your questions. But as I said, when I, when I actually get to the part of applying the mask, I need to leave it on for 10 minutes. So I'll answer some of your questions then as well. Um, as always, if you're loving a product that I'm chatting about or just liking the show in general, send us some hearts so that we know um, that you're loving the show. Um, what else have I got to tell you before we get cracking on? Um, not really too sure. I think that's everything. Um, we have got a little offer today, like we normally do with these shows. Um, but it's actually because we're saying goodbye to um, a very beloved product. Um, so we're very sad to see it go, but um, it is time, I'm afraid. Um, and that is the Peacekeeper. So I don't know if any of you have heard of our Peacekeeper before, but it's this lovely little balm here. Um, it's a, it's, it's, vegan balm um in its own right as well because it took us like ages to like kind of get the formula right with this one um and it is quite you know um a sturdy balm as well but it's really good for like sort of like any dry areas um, and i will apply this onto my lips at the very end of the demo as well so yeah if you've got um, any questions regarding this do let us know but um we are literally selling it for a pound or a dollar or a euro. So um, if you're interested in getting your hands on one of these vegan balms, the Peacekeeper, before it goes, do um, do snatch one before it goes. So a pound, a dollar or a euro um, they are going for, just so that we can get um, rid of the, of the stock. But we're really sad to see it go. Um, but yes, if you want it, it's this one here, the Peacekeeper. Um, and Kat just put all the details, she's pinned that for you um, at the bottom there. So, I think that's everything. Um, that's our offer today. I'm going to be doing a live demo all on brightening the skin. So, um, why, firstly, are we doing a brightening show? Well, one, because we've got an amazing new moisturiser. So, I'm going to be showing you that later on as well. Um, but obviously, you, most of you will probably have heard about C to Believe, which is the new moisturiser. It's got vitamin C in it. It's amazing. We love it. Um, so I'm going to be showing you that later on as well. But I've got a full routine here that I'm going to take you through. There are two, four, six, eight products, nine if you include the Peacekeeper, um, that I'm going to talk you through. And these are all designed to help brighten the skin. So the whole routine is aimed at brightening um, the skin. This is... Um, a great time of year to be focusing on this as well because our, as our skin kind of changes as we go through the seasons you know we're coming into winter now we're getting saying goodbye to our summer healthy glow and you know we want a bit of winter glow as well we kind of want to bring that through but quite often when we have these seasonal changes our skin reacts in not a great way it tends to get drier doesn't it and if you've watched some of my previous shows you'll have noticed that I talk quite a lot about how your layering of products um kind of mimic when we layer our clothes so serums are your underwear so your support and then you've got your clothes over the top um, which will be your moisturizer and then your um, oil which is your raincoat so when we look at like moisturizer this is what might change during the season so as you're coming into winter much as we would like change to a jumper we would maybe go to a richer moisturizer or something more hydrating um, during those winter months so um, if that is you brilliant um, 
I'm gonna sort of go through a really nice um, routine that is going to really nourish your skin, but then also get that glow back. So you could do this like once a week um, or even twice a week, um, just to kind of bring that glow back into the skin. And uh, if you're consistent with it, you'll notice that, that that consistency will stay in the skin and that brightness will stay for a lot longer than if you just did it like as and when. I know life gets in the way, I can be really bad for it as well and I definitely do notice when I don't give my skin a bit of nourishment and it kind of goes a little bit like oh um so this routine um is really going to help with that um combating the winter blues um as well so um I'm gonna crack on with the routine please do pop your um your questions in, as I said, I'm gonna get to a point in the demo where I've got a mask on for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna answer any of your questions then. So pop them through. Um, we've got Katya as well, who's gonna be answering in the meantime as I'm going through um, the products. Um, but I will absolutely explain the products to you as well as I go through the routine. Um, and if any of you want any help with your own routines, we've got free 20 minute consultations as well with myself and my my colleague Holly as well which was she was in our previous show um so yeah do book in for that if you if you need to so um firstly let me get this hair off my face because otherwise I'd be getting all of this wet and I don't think I'd look very nice um so I'm gonna pop my hair back get this out of the way so I've got no makeup on um as well, and um, just for the purpose of this demo, normally I put a little bit of makeup on, so <laughs> hopefully my skin will look a lot brighter after this. I must admit, I'm actually um, recovering from COVID as well. So I had COVID for the first time last week. It was horrendous. I hated every minute of it, as I'm sure if any of you have had COVID, it's not particularly very nice, is it? It's not meant to be either. Um, but that's why my voice is a little bit husky. So if I do have to cough every now and then, I do really apologise. Um, it's just me getting over it. I am actually negative, but it's just getting over that bit of it. Um, but hopefully this lovely routine is going to make me feel so much better. Um, so starting off with the light work cleansing oil. So the reason this is in a brightening routine is one, because if you have been wearing makeup and SPF, you want to make sure that this is uh, this has been completely removed from your skin before you exfoliate. And that's going to be the next product. Um, so, but also this product is brightening itself. So it's got um, the rose hip fruit extract in there. So if any of you know about our rose hip oil, which is this little lovely thing here, um, we use the fruit and the seed and it's the fruit that contains five times more carotenoids than the seed. So that's why we put the fruit extract in this particular cleanser as well. And that will help to also brighten your skin. So if you've been wearing makeup, I'd probably say use about three pumps. That's what I normally do. If you've got a bit more heavy makeup on, you might want maybe want four. Um, but for the purpose of this today, I'm actually going to use two just because, you know, I don't have anything on my skin today. I've not been outside. I've been that lazy today. I've actually been in front of my computer screen, but there we go. So this cleanser, in fact, all of our cleansers, um, are applied onto dry skin. Now, the reason for that is because if you applied this onto wet skin, you'd set off the emulsifier already and the oil won't pick anything up off, off of the skin. So you want it onto dry skin, massage it around so it can literally pick up any dirt and impurities. Of course, as I said before, if you've been wearing makeup and SPF, um, this will literally, you'll literally see it kind of like congealed together and it'll be all like... Um, lifting it off the skin which is really nice I love seeing that particularly when I go over like my mascara even though I get panda eyes like it's quite a satisfying feeling isn't it so make sure you go around the nooks and crannies around your nose particularly on any areas that you get quite congested because oil clings to other oils so it'll really help to really get into those pores and really clean them right so there we go so this is a wash off product. For the purpose of this demo, I am gonna use a cloth just because you don't wanna see me like doing this, do you? And getting literally water everywhere. So, um, but what I am gonna show you is I'm just gonna dampen my fingertips and 
you should hopefully see. Can you see where it's going milky there? And that is the emulsifier setting off. So that will basically loosen everything off of the skin. So um, the oil onto dry skin is gonna pick up all the dirt and impurities. Then the, um, the emulsifier, when you set that off with water, that will loosen everything off of the skin. And then you're literally gonna rinse that away. Obviously for me, I am gonna use a cloth. And I've just boiled this water as well to make sure that it remains really warm whilst I'm, so it doesn't really go too cold too quickly but make sure that you use warm water because hot water can really react on the skin. Cold water won't really remove a lot and you might get a bit of a film uh, left over. So you need it to kind of almost like melt the cleanser off of the skin, but without being too hot. So nice and warm. And as I said, this you can literally just rinse off. Um, you can also use a cloth as well if you want to. Some people quite like that, um, but it can literally just be rinsed off. So the reason I'm using a cloth is so I don't get water everywhere. Because that, even though that might be entertaining for you guys, I don't think uh, it would be good for my uh, little at home office. <laughs> so that has effectively cleansed my skin. So that's the first part. Um, to be honest with you, if you had nothing on your skin whatsoever, you could just it go straight in with the exfoliator because it would um, it would cleanse your skin at the same time. But if you want a bit of a refresh or if you have been wearing makeup and SPF, that's where the light work cleansing oil, you'd start off with that. Um, so there we go. Um, right, so I want that, I need my skin to be dry now before I put the exfoliator on. So just whilst it's kind of drying off, um, I'm gonna explain Virtuous Circle. This is a product that is really loved by a lot of you, including myself. It's one of Sarah's favourites. Um, and it's such a lovely, gentle exfoliator. It's more like, um, oh, like a polish because it's not like a scrub. Like scrub we kind of think of like really harsh um, sort of like beads. These are lovely Ahoba wax beads, which are completely spherical. They gently roll over the skin. So they gently buff away the dead skin cells rather than scratching and call it, causing any like micro tearing on the skin. And this is gonna roll over, picking up the dead skin cells. And then you've got this lovely kakui oil that is conditioning your skin as you go. I really love to demo this product in consultations as well, just because it's such a great, you'll see it in a minute when I put it on my skin, but particularly when it goes from a gel to a milk, oh, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, that's Virtuous Circle. So this is the exfoliator that I'm going to apply now. So probably about that amount, if you can kind of see that there. Um, and then I'm literally applying this onto dry skin. So as I said, you wanna apply all of our cleansers, including this exfoliator, onto dry skin because it will help to pick anything off of the skin. Um, the oil will also be helping to pick up the dead skin cells as the ahoba beads are, you know, loosing them from the skin. Um, but yeah, just do like little circular motions up and around. You wanna go, make sure that you're really getting to every part of your skin. I mean, look at that. It's beautiful. So it is a gel that almost kind of goes to a bit like an oil. Like it feels like quite like a thick oil as I'm like kind of massaging it around my skin. Um, but it's just oh, it's such a lovely product to use. Cause I think some people think like, oh gels, is it gonna kind of like, like pull at my skin, is it gonna move freely? It does actually work really, really nicely. Um, so don't forget nooks and crannies around the nose, on top of the nose. This is where we get quite congested around like the middle of the eyebrows, your foreheads, and then of course, particularly for us women, like our hormonal kind of breakouts around this sort of area and any sort of like large pores around the sort of like nose going onto the cheek area as well. But yeah, right, so again, purpose of this video, I will not be drenching my face in this, but um, just to kind of show you, I will show you how this goes really, really milky. It's really, really beautiful. So, right, I'm just dampen my fingertips. And look at that. Oh, 
it's so nice. And that just loosens all of the beads, all of like the kukui oil off of the skin, but it also allows you just to kind of exfoliate a little bit more with moving the beads around a little bit more freely. And as I said, it just kind of loosens everything then. So go around like a few times just to make sure that you're really getting all the areas of your skin, particularly around those congested areas. Right, so now I can remove this. Um, I will be getting onto the mask very, very shortly. So have your questions ready if you need me to answer any. Otherwise I'll be sitting here for 10 minutes and um, you might get a bit bored by that. <laughs> Um, right, so let me just dampen this cloth so I can actually remove the exfoliator. Like I said, you can literally just rinse this away. So apply it onto dry skin, then dampen your fingertips, loosen it all, turn it into a really lovely milk, um, as I've just done, and then just rinse it off. But for the purpose of this demo, I am just going to use a cloth to remove it all with. And make sure when you are rinsing it, just to kind of make sure all of it's out of your eyebrows as well. I get so many caught in my eyebrow hair that I'm just like, oh, I need to get all of these little beads out. Um, but it is actually, it removes really, really well. Look at this, I'm already feeling loads better. You know when you like, you feel like you really need to exfoliate your skin? And then once you do it, you just feel like, oh, like already, like my skin just feels like it's breathing a lot better. Um, so yeah, I, I love that kind of feeling. And I've, and I've done this for you guys. I've purposely not exfoliated yet. I normally do it on a Sunday. I purposely didn't for you guys. So I hope you appreciate this. <laughs> no, I absolutely love demoing these products for you guys. So I hope you're enjoying it too. I think it's quite nice to be able to see someone, you know, actually demo the products and so you know how to use them at home. Do let us know if you end up doing this routine as well. Like I would love to know. Um, or if you want to do like a similar routine, but maybe you want to change the mask because you feel like you need something a little bit, um, a little bit different. Um, we've got 20 minute consultations, so book in. I'm more than happy to like, chat you through any other products as well. Um, right, I'm actually gonna use this dry one just to make sure, because when you apply the mask, you want it to be on cleansed skin, but you want it to be dry. So just making sure that everywhere is nicely dry. Let me just make sure I've got all the beads out of my, my eyebrows. Right, I think we're good. So, I the mask that I'm gonna use, and this is for brightening, remember, so this is a brightening routine, is Curtain Call. So this, honestly, I'm so glad I'm doing this routine for you guys because it's my favorite routine to do. So I always love using the Virtuous Circle Exfoliator and follow with the Virtuous Circle Mask. Um, the best thing about this mask is that it's got the rosehip oil in it. So our little star, rosehip. And that's obviously going to help to brighten the skin, repair and regenerate. But then you've got this lovely strawberry leaf extract, which I think is an amazing ingredient because it basically just helps to refine the texture of your skin. So if you've got like any dryness or any sort of rough texture on the skin, this is really good at softening it. So when you actually remove the mask in 10 minutes, um, or eight to 10 minutes, I should say, um, that literally, it literally just makes your skin feel so baby soft. So hopefully you guys look at my skin now and then look at my skin afterwards. And hopefully you'll notice a difference because I'll definitely need it <laughs> now. Um, so I'm just going to uh, start applying the mask for you now. So you want like a good, like generous layer on, I always, I always say. Also, I have demoed this mask before and you will notice it will darken in colour as it starts to dry on my skin. So as we're going through sort of like questions and things like that, um, keep an eye out, keep an eye on it because it will go darker. Um, and I'll end up looking like an umpa lumper at the end of this, but oh, what I do for you guys. <laughs> so I don't like to miss any bits out, you know. When I get all around all areas. Look at that. 
it's really lovely and buttery as I'm like applying it onto the skin as well. Like I do really love the feel of this mask. It's so nice. And also all of our masks have this lovely ingredient, which is also one of our boosters called Inulin, um, which is a prebiotic. So as you are, the re well, firstly, the reason it's so good to exfoliate your skin before applying a mask, uh, sorry, uh, and applying a mask straight afterwards is because you have removed all of those dead skin cells um, and then all this new healthy cells are coming to the surface. And applying a mask straight afterwards just allows so much nourishment to go to those new healthy cells to really give them the best possible nutrition to really like do your skin justice as it's you know on the surface before it you know before that skin needs to be exfoliated so it's really worth taking the time once or twice a week have a little bit of you time um and do like a little at home facial like this and um take a bit of time out for you. If you have kids and you don't have time, tell your husband to look after the kids for a little while or grandparents and just say, look, I'm just taking 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than that, maybe about 15 minutes to do the whole routine. Um, and just have a bit of you time. Just making sure that I'm getting all, all the areas, look. Not missing any. I want all that nourishment on my brand new skin cells that are, are underneath here. So well, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Like, as I said, keep watch on this mask because it will darken in colour as it starts to dry. Um, and that'll be my cue. So what are we at now? 22. So 32, I will remove this mask. So guys, let me know if there's any questions that you've got. I think quite a lot of you have been talking about the Peacekeeper, which is sadly leaving us. So if you want to nab one before it goes, we're literally selling them for a pound, a dollar or a euro. So if you want one or a few, grab them before they go. Um, it's a really lovely balm. Like you can put it on your lips like a lip balm, it can be like for elbows, knees, heels, any sort of dry areas. Um, it's got anti-inflammatory properties to it as well from the Buriti, Kukui. It's got lovely loads of like buttery um, uh, oils in there um, that, yeah, literally just make it um, so, so beautiful. If I just kind of show you, like it's such a lovely silky balm. Really, really nice. But it'll basically, because it's so full of oils, there's no water in it, it will lock moisture in. So if you put like a body moisturiser um, underneath, so you put your body moisturiser on first um, and then put this over the top, it will lock that moisture in. So even if you get like um, eczema or dry like dermatitis patches, it can go over the top of, um, over that as well, just to kind of seal in the nourishment. But right, let me see if there's any questions that Katya hasn't come around to. Because like I said, I've got this on now for 10 minutes. So let me just have a look. Um, Holly, would these products be suitable for acne prone skin? Yeah, that you can absolutely use these for acne prone skin. Um, I think definitely the exfoliator, the um, light work cleansing oil, even this mask, to be fair, would still be suitable for um, acne prone skin, particularly if you get quite a lot of inflammation around the acne, the rose tip will really help to calm and soothe that down. If you get dry acne as well, it will kind of like um, nourish those like dry areas. As I said before, you know, any sort of like rough texture, it will really help to soften that with the strawberry leaf extract. Um, so yeah, you can definitely still use these products. There are absolutely other products that might be more suitable, like the dinner out mask um, is an exfoliating mask and um, it's also a deep cleansing mask as well so the AHAs that are derived from pink pomelo will help to um, dissolve away the dead skin cells um, and then the carolin clay helps to draw out impurities whilst the copaiba extract um, gives you sort of like an antibacterial properties but really works um, down into the pores and you know um, 
it's really great anti-inflammatory as well and just clearing everything out so yeah there are definitely other um products as well like um i'm going to be talking about the after products of after removing the mask as well um so some of those like you might want to mix and match to your own preference. Um, of course, the products I'm using today are all for brightening. Um, but definitely like C to Believe would still be fine for acne prone skin. The rosehip oil is great for acne prone skin, um, particularly because of its healing properties. So it will help your, um, your blemishes to kind of heal a lot faster. It will also calm down any inflammation. Um, even like the Back to Life Hydration Serum, which I'm going to... Um, apply later on as well um it's it's um hydration is so key for your barrier so because what quite often when we think about acne we think like oh i'm um, kind of like stepping away from like oils and anything that might be clogging but actually we, you need to look at the hydration levels of your skin as well because if your skin isn't properly hydrated then your barrier is going to be affected as well and that's because your your cement that holds your skin cells together is basically made up of your natural lipids um, water and amino acids. So water is a big component in your skin. So if your skin isn't properly hydrated, then your barrier is going to suffer. So um, what I would say is if you're um, at all like unsure about what products you should use in this sort of routine, book in a 20 minute consultation. They're completely free. You can have as many as you like. Um, and you don't have to use it all of the 20 minutes. You can use less than that if you, if you, you know, if you don't need all of the 20 minutes, you don't need to, um, to use it all. So yeah, just have a quick chat with us and we can just um, point you in the right direction for your skin specifically, because obviously everyone's completely different. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, Sarah, am I able to watch this back? Only just seen it's live and would be interested to watch all of it. Yep, absolutely. So once I end the show, um, it will then be available on what we call demand and you can literally just click, um, click on it and it will start from the very beginning and you can watch it from start to finish. Um, so yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and Katya's just confirmed that as well. She's giving you the link. So there we go. We're working in harmony here, Katya. This is great. Um, right. Let me see if there's anything else. You're welcome, Holly. Um, peace can be limited to one per person at the sale price. Um, I think you can get more than one, but maybe what I would probably say is just send that question to support at Pi Skincare and then um, we'll get back to you. Unless Katya knows, if Katya knows, she can, she can respond to that for you, Faye. Um, so yeah. Um, Lana, I see only virtuous circle on the US side. Oh, we can update that for you, Lana. Um, why are you stopping Peacekeeper? To be honest, um, it wasn't a massive seller for us. Even though, like, you know, it's a very loved product. Like, we absolutely love it. It's just not a big seller for us, unfortunately. And that tends to be the real reason why a lot of products might get discontinued. Um, uh, yeah, so it's just, it's very, very sad. We absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, it's time to say goodbye to it, unfortunately. But yeah, if you definitely want one and you want to stock up, one pound, a dollar, or a euro. Um, Juliet, my skin is dehydrated with a few fine lines. Will curtain call and the others help? Yeah, absolutely. Like this routine is brilliant if you've got dehydrated skin. Um, this mask, like I actually always find it quite hydrating. Like I've got dry dehydrated skin naturally myself. Um, and I absolutely love this mask. We have also got Resurrection Girl, which uses like blue tansy, hyaluronic acid, the resurrection plant. Um, and that one you can just wash off as well. Um, it's like a lovely like blue gel that you put all over the skin. So you could still do this exact routine, but just switch out the mask and use the Resurrection Girl instead. But all the other products that I'm, I'm going to chat to you about, like Century Flower, the Bats Life Hydration Serum, C to Believe, Rose Hip Oil all really lovely hydrating products so yeah the rest of them definitely but if you want to switch over the mask you absolutely can do but this is our brightening mask uh, which is why i'm using it today um da, 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 to see if there's any other questions we'll get into that like can you see where it's starting to like darken in color now in these little bits it's definitely ready for almost coming off let's have a look 
Lana, my skin, your skin looks pretty good before. Oh, thanks. Honestly, after COVID, I felt like my skin was just like, it needs some nourishment. Um, right, let me see if there's any new ones come in. Goodness. My husband loves curtain cord as well. Oh my God, it's such a good mask, isn't it? Uh, my partner is very like more blemishy prone. So we just get quite dry skin. Um, I tend to put like the uh, more like deep cleansing mask on him. <laughs> well, too, much to his dismay sometimes, but actually he really loves it. I think all guys do, don't they really? They love a bit of pampering as well. So yeah. Any hints on new products? Maybe. What would you like to know, Robbie? <laughs> We do have some new ones in the pipeline coming out soon. So do always watch this space. I'm not allowed to give anything away. I think I'd get shouted at if I gave anything away. But um, yeah, we've definitely got some new ones coming out soon. Uh, one definitely um, very soon. So keep your beady eyes out. <laughs> um, uh Catch is answered as well. So it is one per person. I'm really sorry, guys. Maybe just place like multiple orders if you want more. <laughs> I'm really like a bad influence, aren't I? Just just place multiple orders. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's one per person, everyone. So um, yeah, if you want one of the peacekeepers before it goes, um, it's one per person. A pound, at a dollar, and at a euro. That might change. Like they might decide to like up it. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for any sort of announcements like that. But at the moment, it's one Per, per customer. Right, guys, this is ready to come off. So um, to do it, it's literally just a cloth. You actually get one of these with um, the, any of, like, well, I say any of the masks, any of the two masks. So you've got um, curtain call, dinner out. They both come with a cloth because they need to be removed with a cloth. Resurrection girl, it can just be washed off. So curtain call comes with a lovely cloth. And you literally just rinse it under warm water and then gently remove the mask with the cloth. So always fluffy side as well, because the reverse is an exfoliating muslin cloth. So if you're using that as well, even when you're cleansing, you're going to get a lot of exfoliation and your skin might not like it. So fluffy side always. Um, when you're cleansing like daily, you can use the um the muslin cloth side to kind of go like over any congested areas that's absolutely fine um but just don't over exfoliate your skin because then that will also impair your barrier and then you might get more blemishes which is what we don't want um so yeah so dampen the cloth and it will literally as easy as that look how well i demoed that guys i swear that doesn't normally happen when i'm doing it myself um but yeah, make sure you get all around the hairline. So I always end up having like some residue of mass like around the side of my face. So. It removes so easily. Look at that. Oh. I already, like my skin just feels so like nourished. It's just like. So it's like it's like whispering to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> So, let's rinse out a little bit more. Not looking so much like an umpa now, am I? <laughs> right. This one's actually really good if you've been on like a really long flight. Um, I'm actually going to um, New York in December for my birthday. Yay! Um, and I'm just thinking now, this will be a really good mask to kind of put on um, whilst I'm, you know, it's an overnight flight as well, so I could quite easily put this on. Look a bit like an umpa lumpa, but no one will really see me, will they? Because everyone else will be trying to snooze. But it is really good for like long haul flights, just to kind of, you know, planes are so dehydrating um, already. So having like that kind of mask on would be really, really lovely. Um, as are my next other products as well. So we will continue with the rest of the routine, guys. But look how much brighter my skin looks. Look at it feel so much better right so now that I've kind of removed all the mask from <laughs> from my cloth look at it that definitely needs now I need to go in the wash doesn't it um I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna lie guys I have about 50 cloths now you, and if you've been using pie for a really long time like the collect that middle miss seven cleanser the mask we do them in a pack as well you will literally accumulate loads of cloths 
um, just like I have. But I actually end up using some of them for like cleaning when they're really, really old. So that's another tip for you, you can repurpose them. Right, so mask has now been removed. My skin feels soft, nourished, so bright. Give me some hearts if you think that my skin looks really bright. I can see like a few hearts already. Um, but oh, it just feels so lovely. Look how smooth it is. Right. Century Flower next. So I'm going to pump up the hydration because hydration is all about glow as well. Um, I'm going to explain more about that when I put um, Back to Life Hydration Serum on. But Century Flower has... Um, so for those of you who have used our old Century Flower, um, you'll know that this is so much better. If you haven't tried it yet, you need to. It's so good. The pump on it is a lot better than the other one as well. Like this one, you can actually get a lovely mist out. I can see so many hearts going up for this one. Um, this is such a lovely product. I love it. Um, so it's got hyaluronic acid in it, so it's gonna nicely hydrate the skin. It's still got loads of the other properties that we had, so, um, what did we have before? We had um, the bitter orange, which is the neroli, so that nice calming aroma that you get. Um, it also had um, the lotus flower in it as well, which we still have in there as well. Um, that's a really great one for like calming inflammation in the skin. So we've added hyaluronic acid to uh, further hydrate the skin. Your skin naturally produces hyaluronic acid in the dermis. So that is your chunky layer where all like your, your hyaluronic acid, your collagen, your elastic fibers, all the good stuff is produced and then that filters up into your epidermis which is your top layer of skin and that's where your skin cells are born so there's five layers within your epidermis and your skin cells are born in the basal layer and they will mature up to the top they'll harden and flatten and giving you that resilient barrier now if those skin cells are not nicely hydrated as they as they're maturing through the layers you won't get that resilient barrier when they get to the top they just won't be strong enough so hydration is very very key just for overall skin health uh, for age confidence all of that um, you've also got inulin in here as well, which is a prebiotic. So inulin is also at one of our boosters as well. So if your skin is quite reactive, that's a really nice booster to add into your routine. Um, but inulin, a prebiotic that's going to feed the good bacteria on your skin to help fight off the bad bacteria. So we all have good and bad bacteria on our skin, much like our gut. Um, and this is going to help to support that as well. So that's why we've called it like hydration and barrier defense. So I'm going to spritz this nicely over my skin. Now, if you hold it and gently press it down, it kind of like does like a lovely mist or you can just squirt it. I say squirt it. No, it's going to, it's not going to come out in like a jet like the old one might have done. But if I just show you. You can do it in little bursts as well, or hold it and get a nice little mist. Hopefully that came off on camera okay. But there we go. So now my skin is um, moist again. And I say that because you want your skin to be slightly damp before you then apply a serum. So the serum I'm going to apply is Back to Life. And to make it more brightening, I'm going to add, so this is literally just about that size amount, I'm going to also add in two drops of the vitamin C booster. I love adding two drops of this. I sit in front of a computer screen all day. I need the free radical protection. So I'm going to mix those two together and then literally just massage into my skin. Don't forget the neck, guys. I always say that. That's why we don't have neck creams, because you can literally bring everything down including your moisturizers and oils, all the way down to your neck area. Oh, my skin feels so good right now. <laughs> but there you go, like, you've got like a nice like sheen on there as well. And basically, so, um, Back to Life Hydration Serum is one of like my favorite products. Um, I literally can't live without this serum. Like uh, it, uh, it knows when I'm when I'm not using it. So you've got hyaluronic acid in here. You've also got three Australian berries that basically just help to um, fortify the the barrier and um, your moisture barrier. So it keeps everything locked in. Um, but 
essentially the reason we called it back to life as well is because it literally brings your skin back to life like already if i look back now on this video from the start to where i am now my skin looks so much brighter and healthier and that is down to like all of these lovely products now if you think about, you know, when we, yes, we drink lots of water, like we're drinking like, you know, our eight glasses a day or, or whatever, and we're eating a really good balanced diet, of course, that is going to be great for the skin, absolutely. But always remember that your skin is the last in the queue. So even though like you're drinking like lots of water, because quite often I'll talk to a lot of customers who say like, I drink loads of water, but my skin's still dehydrated. And it's nothing to do with that. It's like, of course, you need to keep that going. So don't ever stop like, you know, getting your intake of water and eating a healthy balanced diet. But your skin is the last in the queue because all those nutrients will go to your vital organs first and then your skin will be the last in the queue. So always remember that. And that's why your skincare products still have so much um so much effect on the skin and they're so important like they definitely have their place um as well as everything that we do internally as well so taking good care of ourselves like um good quality sleep uh stress levels which we all know can be a little bit hit and miss depending on where we are that is just life um but yeah um even what we consume we do also need to think about what we apply topically so if your skin is quite dehydrated um that's where you know topical products are really going to help as well so um that's the reason for back to life back to life um as you know to its name it's kind of like you know, with like grass, like here in the UK, we had a really dry, hot summer and literally everywhere was brown. Like we had, everything was like drying out and now everywhere is so luscious and green because we've had loads of rainfall. And that's exactly what Back to Life Hydration Serum does for your skin. Hydration literally gives that glow back. So that's why I've put it in this routine because it's not just about, you know, like vitamin C and rosehip oil that's going to brighten the skin. It's also from the deeper layers as well. So getting you know that hyaluronic acid back into the skin like uh, replenishing what we naturally lose and then putting um even like some of the vitamin c in there and that's really helpful for free radical damage um protecting our skin from further radical damage um but also it gets into pigmentation and helps to break it up so if you do have like any pigmentation issues that's making your skin feel a bit dull and life um lifeless I can't even, no I'm even trying to say that um but um if your skin is looking a bit like lackluster that's what I was really trying to say um then the vitamin c added into the the back to life hydration serum is a really good mix um so yeah as you can see feeling a lot brighter and healthier now so to finish off um, I've got the C to believe moisturizer and the rosehip oil now Two different ways that you can use these products together. You can mix the two, which is what I'm going to do, just because it's easier. And I'm a bit lazy this, tonight. Um, or you can apply the moisturiser first and then the rose hip over the top. Now, moisturiser is very much to your skin type. Always remember that. So serums will always be down to um, a particular like skin concern. So dehydration, um, pigmentation, blemishes that kind of thing um but your moisturizer is always to your skin type so even though i'm using this moisturizer tonight it might not necessarily be the right one for you so this one is a lightweight moisturizer so if you've got quite dry skin you might want to look at a different moisturizer and that's absolutely fine you can still use the rosehip oil mixed in or over the top um but this the reason i'm using this one is because it's got the vitamin C in it. It's all about brightening. This is all about a brightening routine. Um, it's one up from the Pioneer. So the Pioneer is our lightest moisturizer that has like a matte sort of finish to it. Um, this one has more of a silky finish, but it's still lightweight, but it's more hydrating. So um, if you like, if you want a bit more hydration now that we're coming into winter, but you don't want something really heavy, this will be the perfect one for you. Um, so I'm going to do two pumps into the palm of my hand and like I said you can either apply that onto the skin and then do two to three drops of the rose hip over the top I'm going to put two drops into the moisturizer and mix that in and the great thing about the rose hip is that because of the lovely carotenoids that give it its gorgeous color it also gives you a nice healthy glow as well so it'll be a really nice partner to this routine 
And as I'm actually applying this onto my skin, my skin feels so smooth and soft. I can't even tell you guys. You just need to do the routine for yourselves, honestly. It's so lovely. And look, my skin looks, even now, even more healthier because of those lovely carotenoids that I'm feeding my brand new healthy cells with. And obviously the rosehip oil gives my skin that really nice healthy glow. It's not like overly oily or anything like that. It doesn't feel really heavy on the skin either. But also that oil will have locked in all that lovely hydration that I've just put in there. And that's really important for winter time as well because there's so much in the air that literally is zapping all of the hydration from our skin. That like literally the air around you is wanting moisture and it's getting it from anywhere it can and your skin is one of them. So if you put some oil on at night time, Time, that's really going to lock in the moisture for you um so yeah there we go everyone um i hope you really enjoyed it and i hope it was really informative i also hope some of you go away and do this routine yourselves because my god you all deserve it you all deserve a bit of tlc and a bit of self self-care um what i quite like to do is literally do this routine but i also get into my lovely bath at the same time so you know sit there with the mask on read like a good book and then do all my skincare afterwards. Oh, it's the best self-care ever. Um, try and do that once a week, but it doesn't always happen. But if you can do it, I definitely would highly recommend. Once or twice a week is uh, more than enough to, to do this routine. Like I said, if, the more consistent you are with it, the more that glow will stay. Um, and the more nourishment and, you know, um, softer your skin will feel, the more consistent you are with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you really enjoyed the routine. It's something I've been wanting to do for a little while. Like I thought of it like a couple of weeks ago and I said to the guys, I was like, we used to do a brightening routine, a little demo. They all love a demo. So I hope um, you really enjoyed this one. And like I said, if you're just tuning in and you want to watch it back from the start, you will be able to um, to watch it again on demand. So just head to the, um, I think it's like watch live, just click on that and it brings you to, to the page and you'll be able to rewatch it. Um, if you are watching this back, um, hopefully we'll still have some of the Peacekeeper left, but um, if not, obviously this is um, recorded, so um, they might all be gone. But if you wanna nab one now before it goes and you're watching this live, um, it's the Peacekeeper Vegan Balm, and you can literally, in fact, I'm gonna put some on my lips now just to even like show you because, you know, that was the whole point. So you can literally use it as a lip balm. And that kind of finishes the routine, doesn't it? But it is a lovely, you can see it there, um, lovely buttery balm. It's really nice on the lips as well. Like it's so, so, so nourishing and great for winter time as well. It's a 40 mil, so it'll last you quite a while. Just keep it in your handbag, by the side of your bed, whatever you kind of want to do. Like I said, it's it's an like almost like an everything balm. So you can put it on like your elbows, your knees, like heels, anywhere that you've got dry areas. I get little patches of psoriasis sometimes and I put like, um, when I put like my body cream on, I put a little bit of this over the top of certain areas. Um, and it just really helps to kind of lock in that moisture and really nourish those drier areas. Um, but like I said, you can use it as a lip balm as well. Um, so yeah, we're selling this for one pound, one dollar, or um, one euro and um, it's because we're discontinuing it so we're saying goodbye to the peacekeeper but yeah if you want to nab one do get one now it's one per customer um so yeah go and get one if you if you want to get one before it goes right guys thank you so much um i now don't need to do any of my nighttime routine it's already been done for me so thank you very much for watching i hope it was really informative for you as i hope all of the shows that i do are um if you've got any questions do email us at support at skincare.com and we will definitely get back to you we're quite quick on that too so definitely do pop any questions over to us if you've got any um if you want to have a chat with me or my colleague holly uh, we do free 20 20 minute skin consultation so do book in if you want to have a chat with us uh, we've got availability all week we've got some availability at weekends now as well um, so we would love to chat to you if you're um, yeah wanting to talk about routine um, any skin issues that you've got if you're really interested in pie and you're wanting to know which what products are for you whatever it might be with regards to your skin um, just book in and we're yeah we love we love chatting to you all so um, 
yeah, definitely book in if you feel that you need it. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and a lovely rest of your week. So I know this is Monday, so hopefully this is a nice little routine that you can do tonight to kind of set you up for the rest of the week. Um, but yes, I hope it's been um, really informative for you and um, I'll see you on the next one. Have a lovely evening, guys. Bye.